Military people want to kill people. Scientists, astrophysicists do not. Is there any problem there? Excellent question, Larry. Thank you, and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there's, yes, there's conflict. There's the fact that I can invent something in my field that the military could look over the picket fence and say, oh, we like one of those. Let's take what you just did. I actually have no control over that because Einstein I publish- Einstein and the A-bomb. There you go. We, you have, you have, you publish in, in peer-reviewed journals that are publicly available. Now here's where the rubber hits the road. The military invents something for command and control or reconnaissance or whatever, and it's used for clearly military purposes. And we look over their fence and say, hey, when you declassify that, that will greatly help my work. Do you take that or do you not? And almost all of us take it. The best example is Project Keyhole. There's a series of telescopes that look downward from orbit. And we said, hey, that's a pretty good telescope. When they got declassified, we got one of those. And you know what, we, what it was called? The Hubble Space Telescope. You damn straight we took the telescope, <laughs> even though it had complete military foundations behind it.